Hello and welcome back to my channel and today I will show you how to make a open door script with a keypad so you have to type in the correct uh, code to open the door so how that looks is if I walk over to the door I made here hit the E button a little panel will open up and if you press some numbers here and you press the wrong one it will just disappear and if you hit the correct one like in my case 852 the panel will go away and the door will open and you can enter the door yeah that's what I will show you today let's get to it so <clears throat> the first thing that we'll need to do here is to create the door so let's create a, a cube Let's scale it a bit so it will look more like a door. Let's put it up here. Do something like this. This looks like a door. Pull it up a bit like this. Let's name it the door. Make an empty object. Uh, call this uh, the door parent. Put the door underneath that one and put it at 000, zero, zero. Move it up a bit like that again. Underneath the dot parent, make a great uh, uh, empty game object and call this the hinge. This is the, or we can all call the, the rotate point. Move it to the right of your door somewhere. Take the door and make it a child of that rotate point. So when you rotate it now, you can see it will rotate around that one. Cool. Now let's on the door parent here. Let's add um, let's add an animator. Let's add tap. Oh, sorry. What happened here? Let's add a tab here. I do not have the animation here. Let's create an animation on the door parent. Uh, and just call this uh, open door anim. And here we can simply take that rotate point. Remember to hit the record button. Go to something uh, frame 20. And take the y axis and rotate it. 90 degrees so now it will do like this head back to your project um, and if you go to your door now you can see you have the door here so let's open up the animator uh, if you don't have it we can go down to animation here the animator and drag it down here So right now, if you see here, it's the default one. Cr right click, create empty and just call this, uh, I don't know, idle state or closed door. So, and right click and may set it as default. Right click, make transition down to the open door. In the parameters here, let's make a trigger and call it open door. Now hit the arrow here again, in the condition, let's say open door, it doesn't have an exit time and the duration set it to zero. So now when this is triggered, the door will open. Oh, remember to, to take your animation and remove the loop. Um, yeah, now let's get it to work. Let's make a new script and call this uh, open door. Put it on the door parent. Let's open it. And uh, the first thing that we will need here is a reference to our animator. So let's say private animator, call it anim. And in the start function, we need to say anim equal to get component animator. So now we have 
a reference for that. So what do we need to do now? Let's make the panel. Yeah, let's close this down. Head back to Unity. You'll of course need to make a uh, yeah, right click UI image. Uh, let's hit the 2D here. And this one will be our uh, keypad. So let's put it up here in the middle somewhere. On the keypad, we will need to have, um, let's make a, a UI text here. Let's make it black. This text will be the, well, um, uh, the digit number. Let's call it that. And that is, oh, it's actually the, it's, it's the code. Uh, let's make it 24. Put it in here. It will be, we should actually just make it maybe 14 like this. Yeah. Let's center it uh, both ways like this. Put it up here. Then we will need um, to make some buttons. And here we can simply make an empty one and call this buttons. And underneath this one, we'll make a UI TextMess Pro button. And let's make this 30 by 30. Maybe that's fine. And the text for this one, just type one. Okay, it's maybe it's too big. Let's make it 20 by 20. And make this 12 or something. Um, <clears throat> what is happening here? So, and what well, the reason why I did this because on the button here we then can add a grid layer group and in the constraint let's uh, fix column count and we will have three in my case. So if you take this button and let's first make it another co color. <laughs> And you can see the button size is, uh, we, was it 20 by 20? Yeah. Um, let's make the color on this one. Oh, this one could be something like this. It was more the text that I was thinking about. Let's make it wide. So here on the padding, let's now to the left, something like this. And from the top, put it down here. Now duplicate this one like this. Let's move it a bit more to the right like this. Good. And of course we will need to fix all these. So it says two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine like this, and then uh, we should take and open up the script again. Let's save this and head back to the script. <clears throat> and here we will need to say private text mess. Or, oh, remember to say using TM Pro. And then we'll need to say text mesh pro GRI, and this will be our code text. And this we will serialize so it can be seen in the inspector. Then we will need a string for our code text uh, value. And this is equal to empty here in the beginning. The, from the get go, and then we need a public string uh, that will be our safe code to enter the DOM, and then we'll need a public game object, and this will be the code panel. Um, 
Uh, and then of course we'll need a ball as well. So we will need a um, private ball. And and I just called it is at at door. And from the get go from the get go it will be false. <coughs> yes, so in the update. Uh, let's say first on trigger enter. So when we enter the or go to the door, we will need to say if other dot dot tag is equal to our player. So when we go to the door, we will have to say is at door is equal to true. And then we need to do the same for the pro um Void on trigger exit. Here we'll just say is at door is equal to false. And our code panel that we are gonna open in the update function, we will need to code panel is equal to oh sorry dot set active to false here. So we we will open up a panel when we go to the door and when we go away from the door this paddle will be set false and then we also need a public void at oh sorry uh, at digits and this will take in a string uh, we can call it digit for the num or numbers, that's up to you. And the code text value plus equal the digit or the number. Uh, yeah, let's set this up and uh, save it and go back to Unity and let's set it, uh, up what we have here. So if we take the, um, the door here, Right now we need uh, the code text, so if you go to the keypad, that is the digit number here. Then we need an, uh, the code to get out. Um, so we can just say, uh, let's say 852. And then we need the code panel, and that is uh, the keypad here. Yes, so let's open up the door script again. And let's do the last part, and that is of course here in the update. And here we need the code text. Dot text is equal to our code text value. And then we need to say if code text value is equal to the save code that we have typed in, then our anim dot set trigger is equal to open door and our code panel so if the door opens then the code panel of course need to be set to false as well and then i have made this if mistake if statements that if the code text value is Greater or equal to four. Oh, uh, sorry, dot length. Then the code text value is equal to nothing. So this you you do not need need this one. Uh, if if what this does is that when you type in some no, um, some of these numbers, that if you hit hit four, and it's not the correct save code then it will delete all the numbers and uh, yeah you have to start over that's what this does and yeah then of course we need to open up the panel of uh, as well so if input dot get key key code dot uh, i will choose e and our is at door is equal to true. And this one is set true when we go into the trigger on the door. 
then the code panel dot set active is true not tree true like this so let's save this and head back to unity and let's see what happens so do we need to set anything else up here nope the only thing that we need to set up is at the door on the door we need a box collider and this sh uh, need to be a trigger and let's do like this this is uh, if the player hits this one then this panel will open uh, we should not be so far away so let's do and we should not open it from the other side because it's not closing in this case yes <clears throat> and the other thing that you will need to I only have a simple player in here with a play, player movement so I can move around in the game and remember to check your player as a player. Um, the keypad, let's hide this and now let's hit the play button and see what happens. So as you see here we can walk around when we go to the door and hit the E button it opens up and we should be ah uh, we forgot to set up the buttons of course so on the keypad here we have all our buttons let's close all these again an easy way to do it is if you take all your buttons here on the on click click here take the door parent move it down here on the function take the open door and here add digit as a string and then when you need to set it to one two three four five six seven eight and nine and if you want to use letters instead you can simply just write them in here instead and of course change the safe uh, safe key uh, yeah two letters as well but now when we hit the play button it should work let's see so now we can walk around we can walk to the door open uh, this one on e you can press some numbers here and if we take four numbers it's the wrong one everything disappears and you can try again and if you hit the correct number uh, was it not two five eight nope that was the correct one right oh I typed it wrong I see if I check my console here the parameters does not work because I said open door it's open door with two it was like this silly mistake you need to remember that text need to be 100% the same as this one you've typed here, else it will not work. So let's maximum, maximize on play instead. Hit the play button here, go to the door, hit E, let's say 852. It opens the door and it disappears and you can enter the door. Yeah. That was uh, what I had to show to show you in uh, this tutorial um, if you have any uh, comments please let me know in the comment section below and uh, if you want to see more videos from me please uh, hit the like and subscribe button thanks a lot for watching